All right, everybody, welcome to Arenda Power. Today we are doing a special video, a uh, like a toy review. So this is Ant Works. My girlfriend got me this uh, formicarium. So this is basically a, uh, an ant farm. And the uh, design and concept of this uh, item that is not sponsoring me in any sort of way is that uh, in whatever the year, uh, the scientist wanted to um, study how ants could work in zero gravity. So they actually brought some ants in space. But because they didn't want it, like the tunnel of the ants to collapse during the takeoff of the, uh, like the spaceship, they had to design a weird gel. Uh, where there is kind of like all the nutrition the ants uh, need, all the water, and they can basically live in their food. So I'm going to do the review. Uh, I have actually a lot of negative point to say, but I'm also going to give some uh, positive review of this item. I also want to say that uh, I am a very like, good follower of antcanada.com. Again, that's not a channel that is sponsoring me whatsoever. It's just uh, that I'm watching a lot of ants um, stuff. So I know a lot of basic stuff about how a ant setup should look like. And <laughs> this isn't what an ant uh, setup should be. Actually, it have a lot of like bad design and flaws. Uh, so the first thing is the poor visibility. Because the glue uh, is actually like detaching itself and drying up, uh, there is a lot of pocket of, uh, of air creating a lot of condensation. And as you can see, we don't actually see pretty well. Also, because um, if I can open this up, also a big flaw, there is only one opening. Uh, which is extremely dangerous because, you know, ants are crazy and if I want to do maintenance, uh, this is great and all, but uh, like to open it wide. But after that, um, well, if I just wanted to like pick up a random ant and just put it there and not crush everybody, like this little uh, worker, uh, it is very difficult. I killed many ants just trying to put ants in this goddamn, uh, for, like, godforsaken creation. So, as you can see here, there's, like, a gap between the actual glass and the gel. Um, to the, uh, end work defense, this thing was, like, not supposed to be open. Uh, it, it's, like, very old. It's been like created in 2003 and we are in 2021 at this point. So, you know, the gel, for the gel to still be able to hold up after like 18 years is kind of remarkable. But uh, also, again, I'm experiencing a second end product also. And yeah, uh, a lot of condensation. Speaking of which, uh, or yeah, Ants, they do not like to live in like uh, moisture. And as you can see, this is freaking moist. Um, I tried three times to keep ants. So the first colony, uh, I, what I did is I put a lot of dirt, uh, like more than just this. I put really a lot of dirt and I completely wrecked an ant colony. So if you want to call animal abuse, yeah, this is this. Uh, but yeah, um, so I put a lot of dirt in the, like, thinking, oh, the ants will actually use the dirt to hide themselves because they're not used to be exposed like this. And I was right, the ants did use the dirt and I couldn't see anything anymore. So I was like, well, if I cannot see my ants, what's the point? So I freed the first, like, batch of ant that I captured in my backyard. I tried to catch, like, invasive species, but I'm not sure uh, if those little girls are in indeed invas invasive. So that's a little worker just chilling. Wow, there was so much action a few minutes ago before I started recording. But yeah, anyway, uh, after that, I tried another species of uh, of... Ant. I believe it was like harvester ant 
And those were not doing well in this setup. One just died and the other seven were extremely depressed. No one worked. So this is my third attempt in like two weeks. And as you can see, they are like forming a big ball of ant. So they have uh, formed their like uh, HQ over here in the base of the gel. So uh, like it's just a ball of ant right here. Uh, and yesterday I dropped a fly in there and they destroyed it. And then they uh, started to dig all the way over here. So yeah, they have done a lot of progress in a single day or actually in a single night, yeah. They are fairly impressive. I caught them uh, while they were uh, like uh, swarming outside. Sometimes this species of ant, I'm not sure why, but they swarm. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, very poor visibility. Also, one big complaint again was the fact that uh, there is only one opening and it's freaking large. So I had to crush a lot of ants. So I killed many of my ant in inhabitant instead of having like a big opening and then having like small ones. So I could like put some small ants if like the main force is trying to rush here. Also, some of the small ants are actually able to escape uh, if I don't close it properly. So yeah, that's a big problem. Also, as you can see, no air holes at all. I have to literally open this for the ant to be able to breathe. So that is a major uh, flaw. Uh, I mean, you know, ants are kind of uh, supposed to breathe air at some point. So I'm not sure uh, what's up with that, but uh, yeah, no, no air holes. Also, uh, like I've learned in uh, like watching the Ant Canada uh, YouTube channel, you're kind of supposed to have at least two containers for ants. So like, uh, a place where the ants actually live and an outworld separated where they can forage for food slash where they can actually like put all their dead body and if they need to poop somewhere ants are very smart they can all poop in the like separate container and then they can go back to their nest but over here as you can see they will just poop in their own food which is also their home so like uh, i cannot see how this would work in a long term um so again this is my first big attempt of uh, keeping ants and this uh, formicarium my girlfriend got it uh, for the cheap uh, at like a a, a thrift shop so <laughs> you know um she was trying to encourage my uh, passion for insect. And uh, yeah, also this thing is very small compared to the freaking size of the box. We all thought it was going to be way bigger than what actually turned up to be. Uh, but yeah, like it's, it's good enough for ants, I guess, for a small colony like what I have. And I don't have a queen, so all of these... They're just slave of the system. They will all die like us um, at one point or another. It's it's very sad. It's extremely depressing. I want a, a queen ant, uh, but uh, I don't imagine I could like actually rise a proper colony in here. So I'm studying my little ants and then I'm releasing them back where I found them. And they are going to have freakish memories of what the hell this ant farm was um but yeah it's freaking interesting ants are extremely relaxing uh to look at they are like i don't know it's there's something like oddly satisfying about ants just the way they they freaking move and the way they do regular tasks and the way they all like combine their energy and 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 stuff together it's it's really relaxing but uh then again this is a pretty bad enclosure i'm going to try to uh get myself a way better enclosure um i might what i might do with this enclosure is like remove the blue gel put some soil put some leaves and moss and instead of 
keeping ends. This could be perfect for example, like a uh, an isopod little enclosure. I am keeping some isopod with my baby mantis. So if you haven't seen this video, check it out. I have baby mantis and I am farming isopod. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these ants have like, you know, they have a little system. They have something going on. Uh, they have like built a mount over here with some actual gel. Again, uh, I wanted to point out the poor visibility. It's very hard to see something in this bad boy uh, because of all the moisture, obviously, and because of all the dirt. Like in a regular formicarium, like uh, Ant Canada is selling, uh, or like Ant Australia, I'm also aware of uh, Ant Australia channel. So uh, I, I kind of know my stuff. Um, I kind of know insect. Uh, as you can see, I have a big collection. I just wanted to brag about it. Um, like, insects have been my entire life. So I know how to keep insects. And I really wanted to try this out. And uh, it's just not working. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, so I hope you have all learned something. I don't want it to really bash on the product or anything. I just wanted to, um, it's an old product also. So like if the company stumbled on my video uh, and if I did something wrong, let me know. Uh, I just wanted to point out some like basic major flaws, like, uh, you know, not having oxygen, uh, poor visibility, and the fact that the ants cannot properly dispose of their waste. And the freaking massive opening, uh, make it, making it super inconvenient. I will say though, I really like the um, the shape of the enclosure. It's so fun to to uh, to pick up. It's like, uh, um, like it's designed for the hands to have a good grip on it. Uh, I will say that, and also I kind of find the little uh, uh, like this thing, so you can see better. Uh, that was convenient and I like the design and the package and the story behind it of like of, uh, like astronaut uh, bringing it to space. It is pretty cool really but uh, at the same time <laughs> we don't see things and all the ants are super depressed in the bottom of the goddamn enclosure so but yeah they, they are building stuff. So if you want some updates on this thing uh, and like because right now it's the boring part. It's a new colony uh, and like they haven't dig a lot, but eventually we will see more stuff, I think. Like once they start tunneling, now it's going to be fun. But right now I just wanted to see it, to uh, actually share that sometime all the ants just go to the bottom and don't do anything and just kind of drown there. So that is a major flaw of the project, uh, but, um, you know, if you're still interested, um, just go buy it, I guess, try to find it, uh, the, um, in the box, there was a paper, uh, telling us, like, all kind of information about how to keep, take care of the ants, and how to actually buy some ants for your little, uh, ant work, ant farm, so, um, could be interesting like if you're interested and you can, and you want to like try it i guess you can buy it uh fairly easily and you can even have some like ants shipped to you with the extra cost again i'm not sponsored i don't think any like product would want me to bash them hard before saying yeah but you know there there's some good positive stuff about it uh like uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I see what they were trying to do. I like the design uh, of like the, the enclosure. I might use it for other stuff than ants, but like for ants with this blue gel, again, good idea, but like a, a lot of um, ambitious ideas, just a poor execution uh, for ma many, many things, major flaws, flaws that cannot be overlooked. But again, for isopods, this would be perfect, but for ants, 
very bad. Oh, yeah, one, one more thing. Um, a lot of hints, like, a lot of the ants are trying to escape sometime. Uh, I don't blame them, really. Uh, I tried to put baby powder on the top because I I thought that was uh, what Ant Canada was using to make the uh, ant not be able to climb. But uh, the first thing I want to point out is the, like, lack of space I have to put it. So if I want to see this area, again, I cannot really see it anyway. But uh, there is not a lot of space and there is a lot of water, so the baby powder could theoretically just leak out on the freaking gel and we don't want that. Uh, but uh, when I tried, the ants were still able to climb. So I think you sh need to use like rubbing alcohol as well as baby powder to make it like a like, barrier so the ants cannot escape but yeah right now a lot of ants have escaped and a lot of ants have been crushed by me just trying to put the goddamn lid on so a uh, major flaw there major flaw uh i could try to uh, create a like if i buy a like formicarium from ant canada like the part where the ants are supposed to nest i could try to connect this part with a tube to this part and this could become the um, the actual outworld if I remove all the gel um, or have it like it is it's just like right now I don't feel like it can support ants for a long time for a few days maybe but like not for ever so uh, what I'm going to probably be ending up doing is like switching up ants uh, over and over again so like they don't get super depressed and just die and like have no purpose in life because that's just sad um, but I do want to study them and if I can find like ants that are actually invasive in Canada and having them like controlling a little setup like that I think that would be kind of ethical uh, but again uh, let's not question too much the ethics of this uh, because uh, otherwise, I don't know, you can bash me or you can bash the product. Uh, for this one, I'm not going to be mad. Just don't like insult me in aggressive ways. But if you're like, well, this shouldn't work. I'm, I'm agreeing with that. Uh, this was my first toy review. <laughs> and, um, oh, is that Paul? Paul the comic book artist? Are you trying to eat the friend ants over here? Hmm? What, what, what did you have to say to the subscriber? What? To like, comment, and hit the bell notification? Well, thank you for the advice, kindly bird. I think everyone should learn from you. Also, we all miss you, Ezekiel. We know we are watching your vid our videos, and we are so, so happy that you're still watching us, and we are awaiting the moment where you will come back in the comment section. The comment section feels so empty without Ezekiel, guys. <sighs> anyway, uh, if you want to name this... No, actually, I'm going to name this end colony. You don't even have the right. I'm going to call them the uh, Barbarian Pegans. So uh, if you want more of the Barbarian Pegans, let me know and uh that should be fun what should we feed then should we do like live feeding i would be down actually i like to see and kill i know it kind of is weird but it's just satisfying to see ants feed uh and yeah anyway that was fun bye